Hi everybody, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm doing an update for my Spring into Project Pan and I am very excited to be here today because I've got more empties to show you, which is always the most fun, isn't it? Um, there are 13 products in this project and I am going to show you where I am at. Last time when I did an update, I kind of put a lot of these to the side, but I've made them front and center in the last month and I'm super excited about that. So first and foremost, the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I only had three left. I went ahead and I just used these up. They are all gone. Love these. I actually am repurchasing them this month um, because I love them so much and it is time to buy them. I also have two skincare more items, um, the Good Molecules Niacinamide Toner. This one, I didn't see anything with it. I, I just, I didn't. Not that it was bad, I just didn't see any difference, and that's okay. <laughs> and then I have the Good Molecules Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. Um, this one, once again, didn't really see very much of a difference, but that's okay. That's just the reality of it. Um, I do have two fragrance, fragrance minis. One is super unfortunate. You can see I totally shattered the bottle. This was beautiful Magnolia Best Day Lauder. Um, I was on the last little bit when I dropped the bottle. And it is real glass, y'all. I thought it might be plastic. Nope, this is real glass. You can see I've got like shards. I had to clean my bathroom after this one so I didn't step on anything. Um, but it's gone now. I'm gonna call it an empty. I was more, you know, than 90% of the way done, so I'm calling it an empty. And then I have the Joan Malone Fragrance in English Pear and Freesia Cologne all gone there. So out of my five empties, I'm gonna be purchasing one. The other four were like fine. The fragrances, I don't know. I haven't found like a fragrance I've really connected with in a while, but I'm trying to use up all these little ones, you know, so I think that that's okay. Just kind of like try it, move it out, try it, move it out, try it, move it out, and then keep moving forward. You know what I mean? That, that's the goal. But I do have some things I do like in this project. Um, so let's talk about some things I do like and then we'll continue on. <laughs> the first thing I do like is Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. The writing is coming off, which is such a packaging fail. Um, but I was there, you can kind of see I've got gaps now. So I've still been using this really frequently and religiously. Um, this is just a full size, and so I wasn't planning on really finishing it in this project, but it is getting used, so that's exciting. I also have been really liking the tinted moisturizer I have on today. I've got that beautiful glow. I think my skin just looks fantastic today. This is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Just a light coverage foundation. I'm in the shade 20. Um, this is light neutral. And what's interesting is, see, it still looks full, but this is all air. When I squeeze to put this on my face, I'm actually squeezing way down here at the bottom. So there's half an ounce in here. So I think that there's going to be a lot that I have to like kind of like pound down, you know, like do this to get it to the bottom because I already am squeezing all the way to the end. So I think next month I might actually be able to finish this one. This does end in June. You guys know we're in May, so I have one month to finish it up. Um, and I might actually be able to finish this one up. This one's like gonna be really close depending on how much makeup I wear um, or like how much full coverage I need versus light coverage. But this is beautiful and I'm really excited that um, I have another one. I have another one of these minis to use. I do think my skin looks fantastic. So this is part of the reason why. This one's hit or miss for me. This is the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. Um, I've used a good chunk of it, you know. So, you know, I didn't really have an update last time, but now I have a huge update on it. It's fine. I don't think it's anything special. I have found though what I have to do with this one is I have to follow it up with a moisturizer, which I think is really interesting. A lot of times I can use face oils on their own, but I'm finding that I need a moisturizer on top of this really to make it sink in. So I have been doing that, but that's where that one goes. I'm using it, I'm not, I'm not like obsessed with it, but it's, I like it good enough, you know? Um, this one is the Stila Tulip Twinkle. I've only used this probably three times in the past month. So you can kind of see, can you see those holes? They're a little hard to see. Yeah, there's a good one there. I'm not halfway done yet, but I do have some use on it. That hole is pretty nice to see. And uh, I'm excited that I'm getting some use out of it. Again, that's not one I'm really thinking I'm going to finish up, but I am glad that it is getting used. One I haven't used at all, the Pirouette Fragrance Oil. 
It's this little guy. I took it off the paper so I can start using it, but it is pirouette and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I just finished another one of my little spray bottles. <laughs> so um, once I am done with that one, I will bring it here. I'm going to start using that ASAP. Um, the L'Oreal Pop Balm in the shade Bold Blush. So I updated in my lipstick project pan previously. So you can see those lines there. I don't really have any other use on it since that, but that is all I've got left. So can I use that in a month? Yeah, I think I can. I think this is one I can definitely use up in a month, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm going on a little vacation this weekend, and I'm going to bring this with me. And I might be able to get like maybe half of that gone in a weekend, which would be fan freaking tastic. This is a good one to bring with me because it's a little bit of color, but a whole lot of like moisture to it. It's not as much moisture as when I first bought it <laughs> because it is kind of old, but I am excited to have this in my collection. This one, the ColourPop Crim Gel Eyeliner, you got to be really careful with now because it's, it's escaped from the bottom, but I have used this twice. Not a whole lot, you know, for a month's worth of use, but how often do you need bright blue eyeliner? Well, that's why I have it in this project. <laughs> um, let me show you on the paper what this one looks like. Do you see from the top to the bottom? That's what I've done in two months. It's use and use counts. So is it like using a regular eyeliner? No, you can see I do prefer black or a brown or a green or a gray or anything like that, but I do use it on my under eye and it just gives it like a really kind of spicy look <laughs> for me and my basic looks normally. So yeah, and then the other one on the paper is this Love of Color. I do have some use on this as well. This is the gold shade, it is called Day Trip. This is the one and done Love of Color eye crayon. You guys know I came from my birch box. And that is where I am. Not a whole lot of use. Um, I am finding that that gold doesn't go underneath every shade that I want to use. Like right now I'm looking for more of a cool tone because my dress is cool tone. So if I put, you know, it's just hard to use gold in everyday life. I like gold. I think gold brings out my blue eyes a lot. But it's just a little bit harder to use than I want. You know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> it's not a bad product. It's just one of those products I'm just not reaching for every day. And that's okay. That's, I got one more month to use it up. And I don't think I'm going to make that whole month, but I'm going to get some use out of it and see what I can do. And that, my friends, is where we're at for this project. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. What's your favorite product that you're using for spring? I want to know what do you draw on to love and use in the springtime while you're changing months. But thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy panning, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!